All right, so this is the second part of the uh, counter app tutorial. And uh, in, in the first part, we basically created these two buttons here and, um, you know, a label in the center. But uh, really, these two buttons are doing nothing right now. So if I just click it, you know, nothing really happens. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll basically uh, write a button handler function which uh, responds to, you know, these kind of click events. Uh, so let's get started, but before that, a small errata from the uh, first part of the tutorial. We, when we implemented this function, uh, should auto-rotate to interface orientation, we had the return value as void. It, it should be bool, uh, because that's what we're returning from the function. So, um, you know, make sure you write bool so that there's no compilation errors. All right. Um, Let's get started here. We uh, what we want to do is we want to open up the the header file and uh, add a method declaration for that button handler function that we talked about. So that should look something like this. Uh, it has the IB action keyword here. The name of the button handler function we'll call it increment counter, and that's going to get the ID of the sender as one of the parameters. Um, that's it. Just write it anywhere outside this uh, interface uh, interface block, right? In the header file. Uh, go over to the implementation file, and you know I have the code written here because I don't want to type it all over again. And uh, <coughs> here you basically this is the method implementation. Uh, one thing you can notice here is that you know the return type is actually void uh, for this particular function. However, we declared it as IB action. Uh, that's not really an error because IB action is really a void type itself. However, writing IB action in the method declaration um, signifies our intent to associate this button handler function with actually, a, you know, a UI widget in the in the view. So, so that's why we say IB action. Now let's go back to the implementation file and take a quick look at what kind of uh, code that we have here. Uh, this is basically, you know, we're getting the pointer to a dialog object because what we want to do is we want to show a message when, you know, that button is clicked. So we get the pointer to the dialog object, we set the message that we want to show, and this is just the title of the message. Um, actually, this is the uh, actual text that will show up on the button, uh, and then this function is uh, is basically calling the show on that particular dialog object and uh, then when we're done we'll just you know release it so uh, with that let's just do a quick build and run yes we'll save all of it and uh, you know let's just try to click it but you know exp ideally we should be seeing our message pop up but nothing happens the reason why nothing happens is because we haven't really hooked up this button with this piece of code that's there in our view controller. This button with this piece of code in our view controller. Now, to do that, we basically have to go back to our interface builder and uh, uh, connect, the dot, connect the dots. Um, all right, so let's say, you know, um, let's implement the, let's implement the increment button first. So right click on the increment and select the event that you want to handle. Now in this case it's the touch up inside. It becomes a plus sign when you move it over the over the uh, circle. Just click that and drag it into files owner. And here as soon as you l leave your um, left button mouse you'll see a list of all the functions that that are available for you in that particular um, uh, controller view controller. So um, we'll select increment counter because that's really what we want to associate this with and once you select them, once you selected that you know it's it's done. So just close this save quit the interface builder and build and run it again. Alright now you're done here when I mean, you click the button voila now you actually get your message box your you know with the title with the message incrementing and the button title as we said was click me um, so this is how you basically associate um, 
button click event with uh, with a button handler function so let's just do it again for the decrement um, decrement button um, so the steps are go to your header file we'll just cut paste that we'll call it the decrement counter save that really implement one just implement that here go to call that the decrement counter function we'll just change the message so we know that it's the new one that's been called um, again when you build and run it save all nothing will happen because you've not done you've not connected the two uh, the, this button with this function so let's just do that go to your nib file it'll open up here click on click on decrement right click say touch up inside and again take this to the file zone this time you can actually see uh, decrement counter that we just declared and implemented so select that um, file save and then quit it now do a quick build run and it's decrementing so you've got your um, both these button handler functions implemented all right so the next thing we want to do is uh, you know remove this piece of code and instead add some code which basically increments the uh, the value of the counter uh, each time it's clicked so to do that the first thing we need to do is basically get a reference to the uh, counter label itself and so therefore we need to get into the the header file and just declare um, an outlet UI label and let's give it a name uh, say counter label so this this variable is uh, is basically going to represent our uh, our label object and uh, <coughs> uh, that's as far as the he header definition goes uh, when we come into the the implementation here we need to get a reference uh, to that particular counter label so what we need to do is um, uh, basically ns string current string value is equal to let's get that counter label thing and let's get its text whatever is the current text because you know it's it's a text label at the end of the day uh, we need to in convert it into an in integer because that's what we're going to use to increment it uh, so so let's get an integer uh, uh, variable in place here current integer I can type right integer value is equal to um, so just just take the object and uh, send the integer value message to it and that should give us basically our um, the the integer value of that particular string and uh, after that just simple just increment it plus plus current integer value and uh, then we gotta convert it back into string because that's what the UI label expects uh, so we call it incremented string value is equal to um, in s string string with format um, so what we we'll want is here um, percentage D and the current integer value right and then finally just assign it huh. should show up 
is equal to incremented string value blah 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 um, all right so that's pretty much it so what we're doing is uh, we uh, we access the the string in the the current string in the label uh, we convert it to an integer we increment that value we convert it back into uh, uh, a string and then uh, you know assign that string to the to the label so that's pretty much it so let's do a quick uh, build and run and see if anything happens all right so here here's our application we click on increment and nothing happens well that's expected because again we did not uh, associate this header this particular uh, you know reference object with this particular label so this label is not connected to this uh, this label here I mean, I'm sorry this uh, this variable here is not connected to this label so this time we gotta do the same thing that we did with the button actions except it's going to be in reverse so let's uh, open up the nib here um, and here we're gonna do something you know completely in reverse so we'll select on files owner and this time we will choose our our variable and we want to assign it with the label right there and uh, once that's assigned um, just save it quit do a build again and now when you increment it the assignment is correct the dots are joined and your increment should just work so that's that now uh, it's it's pretty trivial to do the reverse uh, which is basically decremented you uh, all the code remains the same uh, except you know this changes to minus minus so let's quickly do that So increment. Oh well, we gotta change uh, that, right? Okay, so this should increment it, and this should decrement it. And right now, it kind of goes all the way behind the zero. Um, you can go ahead, you can make it go above zero um, but we'll in, in the next lesson we're gonna add some uh, bounce checking to this application that's all there is thank you